What's up, people? Your pal Joe back with you again. Share with you a funny anecdote from years gone by. Years ago, your pal Joe was listening to a local radio station. And the DJ has a contest. The stipulation for this contest was you would play a song and you would have to sing the next lyric to that song. Simple enough. So if you did this successfully, you would win tickets to a WWF event. Of course, now known as WWE. But in my heart of hearts, in my soul, it'll always be WWF. So he plays the song. That song happens to be Center Field by our good friend, John Fogarty. As many of you know, the song goes a little something like this. Put me in cold. could be Santa Fe Well, certainly, I'm no John Fogarty. They play the song, and I have to then sing the next lyric. So your pal Joe starts singing to the DJ, and on the radio for all to hear. Put me in cold, I'm ready to play today. Look at me, I could be Santa Fe He said, um, could you, could you sing that again? Sure. Feeling confident, proud of myself, knowing I knew the lyrics, or thinking I knew the lyrics. Put me in cold. I'm ready to play today. Look at me. I could be Santa Fe Hill. Well, you say, why the fuck would you say put me in cold? Doesn't even make sense. Well, for me, the ball player is telling the coach put me in cold I haven't warmed up yet put me in cold I don't need to warm up I'm ready to play why because I'm a baseball player that's what I do that's what I get paid for put me in cold I'm ready to play look at me motherfucker I'm center field as we know it's not put me in cold you need to warm up asshole it's put me in coach put me in coach look at me I can be center field Turns out I was wrong. DJ laughed at me. I made a complete mockery of me singing the wrong lyrics. Needless to say, I lost that radio contest and I didn't win the WWF tickets. So let's look at this as a public service announcement. People, I urge you for those who sing the wrong lyrics, let them know. Don't snicker behind their back. Don't laugh at them while they're in the car singing. It's too late to order fries. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Tell them that the lyrics that they're hearing, they're not the right lyrics. Every time you go away, you take a piece of meat with you. You have to correct them. Correct them. It's a problem in America, and we need to solve this problem. Now, I'm going to be the spokesperson. There are many people afflicted with the misheard song lyrics syndrome. Sure, it's funny, but it's a problem. And you know what? The people that are singing these wrong fucking lyrics, they don't find it funny. They think they're singing the right lyrics. Well, don't go around tonight, because it's bound to take your life. There's a bathroom on the right. That's not the way it's supposed to be sung. But these people, they don't know, and it's up to us to teach them. Sorry, I get a little emotional when I talk about it because it was a problem that I used to have many moons ago. I'm sure there's some support groups for those who sing the wrong lyrics to various songs. And if you're one of them, take a tip from your pal Joe. Get some help. Do yourself a favor, get some help. Read a lyric sheet. Go on the internet, find out the right lyrics, so you don't make a complete ass of yourself. Just heed my warning. Let your loved ones know that they're singing the wrong lyrics, if in fact they are doing so. Don't embarrass yourself. Sing the right lyrics. This public service message has been brought to you by your pal Joe Mason. Thank you for your time. Have a good weekend.